Hello and welcome to Mac Idea of the Day. This is a tutorial on solving some printer issues. If you can't print for some reason, or something goes wrong, this is the easiest and probably the best way of actually getting your printer up and running. So let's open up System Preferences, Print and Fax. You might have a slightly different name there depending on the OS. We'll select that. If this is locked in the lower left, you will need to select it and then type in your password. If it's unlocked like mine is, you don't need to do that step. Now I have a Canon. The first thing you might want to do is go to the particular website of your printer. So if you're using an HP, it would be hp.com, epson's epson.com, canon's canon.com. So you might want to go to their website, see if they have any updates available. If not, then you can just continue here, or you can try these solutions first to see if they work before you try to go to the website and download an update. But that's one thing to strongly think about is go to the website and see what they say about yours. Now what we want to do is select the printer and we're going to hit the minus button and it's going to ask you are you sure? Yes. What that does it just deletes the queue. It does not delete any software it just deletes the queue. Now at this point we can just add it back because it is no software has been removed. You can see there it is. Yours will probably have a different name. And after you select it, it will end the print using for that particular printer. For some reason, if it doesn't, like right here it did, it filled in the correct information. If it said generic or something like that, then you don't have the driver installed that it needs. It may print, but you really want to select the driver you're using. So that's option A to reset your printer, get it up and running. Another option which completely purges everything, if we hold down the control key and we click on it, we can reset the printer system. And this will delete all the existing printer queues and the pending print jobs. This sometimes helps also. Not quite as complete as deleting the printer, but it's pretty darn good. So you can try this one and or the other one and then lastly you could do the updates. So that's the best way to reset your printer and get it working again. Rather than trying to figure out the problem which can take a long time, just get the printer working. So that's it for this little tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Mac Idea of the Day.